A couple things on that. It's shocking that Fox News didn't have him in fatigues and holding a rifle. Like, first of all, just to make sure everybody wasn't you know, overreacting as it was. Uh, <laughs> so you're saying they learned something, at least get them out of the fatigue. They got them out of the fatigue, so, which was kind of big. Uh, I, a, a couple things. I mean, statistically, you have to profile people's behavior, not their race. So right off the bat, he's wrong. He's just flat out wrong. Uh, secondly, I'm more scared of jittery white guys that kind of resemble that Joe Lieberman could panic at any moment uh, on, on an airplane than I am of any Muslim or, I remember one time I was flying out of Detroit and there was like a leak and everybody was really calm. This was right when we were boarding and everybody just stayed calm and composed. And there was this one guy from first class who like looked pretty much like this guy who literally ran out carrying this book and he just goes, bioterrorism! And he books and he sits down and he kind of starts shaking and he was reading like The Born Identity, uh, which they made in that movie with Matt Damon. And I was like, this is all these white guys do is they sit around reading their action movie novels and they just kind of... Fantasize. Yeah, they just fantasize about attacking and profiling I don't know. And it, if they it, didn't have deadly plane disasters in movies, what else would we watch in the back of the screen, back of the seat in front of your little well, screens? I don't know why